Round four of Ohio Sprint Speed Week presented by Cometic Gasket. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here at the Duffy Smith Memorial, it's showtime! Oh boy, trouble on the start. Travis Philo, Alyssa knows, and we go into turn number one and stay green. Tyler Courtney leads him three wide for the lead in turn two. Cole Macedo leads him off in turn number two down the back stretch with Cap Henry in the second spot. Off in turn number four. Cole Macedo leads lap one with Cap Henry hot in tow. Courtney third, Philo fourth, and Scotty Thiel rounds out the top five. Thiel goes to the high side. He'll try to get around a couple of cars. Henry challenged Cole Macedo for the top spot there, but Macedo pulled away. Things will get interesting. Can Cap Henry capitalize as he's got pressure from the 7 BC of Tyler Courtney? Cap Henry chopped off about seven tenths of a second off Cole's lead, and he's bouncing through turn number two. Cap Henry to the top spot. Cap Henry looking to lead lap number seven. Macedo battles back up on the high side. Off of turn number four, Cap Henry will lead lap seven. Here comes Tyler Courtney gonna challenge Cole Macedo for second in turns one and two. Sunshine rolls the bottom, Macedo back to third now as Sunshine takes the spot. Cap Henry still your leader. But Tyler Courtney breathing down his neck at lap number eight. Cole Macedo not going anywhere either, staying in the fight in the top three. Trying to find something on the high side of the racetrack. He brought his car down a couple of lines as Cap Henry's pinned behind a lap car. That's gonna enable Tyler Courtney to part the seas off of turn number four. Cap Henry, or excuse me, Tyler Courtney leads lap nine. He takes the lead from Cap Henry. Henry goes a little bit higher in the lap car, shoots up the racetrack, but big move by Cap Henry to avoid the lap car of Cody Morosky and hang on to the spot. Boy, they're probably going crazy at Sour Mugs Tavern as your race with the lead picks up Tyler Courtney pinned behind the lap car, Jordan Ryan. Here comes Cap Henry back to the high side. Battle for the lead and one and two. Oh boy, Jordan Ryan the unable to keep it going. Somehow Jordan Ryan able to keep the 25R car rolling and Cap Henry was able to avoid. Tyler Courtney leads as we're past halfway. 11 to go this time by and Cap Henry all over Tyler Courtney. Lap cars all over Wayne County Speedway and it's Cap Henry pinned behind one now as Tyler Courtney gets a little bit of breathing room. 10 laps to go for Tyler Courtney. Oh boy, lap cars near, nearly coming together. Seth Sabo on the move, howdy, yellow. Oh boy. He went off the racetrack and stayed on the gas, but water on the track there, so we'll throw the yellow for Brandon Spithaller. Through the real geese decoys, orange cone, we come back to green. Ricky Peterson, the man on the move, into the top three looking for his first career podium. Is off at turn number four. It'll be five laps to go for Tyler Courtney and Cap Henry staying well within striking distance. Henry got one ripped away at Fremont a couple of days ago. Ricky Peterson, Bahan through turns one and two and making it work. Trey Jacobs into fourth and right now Colmacito fifth. Zest Sabo into the sixth spot as he'll shoot past the 91 of Tyler Gunn. This time by, tip of the green two to go for Tyler Courtney chasing career win number 21 with the All-Stars. Ricky Peterson closing on Cap Henry for second, battle for second, and it turns three and four. Trey Jacobs is right there as well as Peterson shoots up the racetrack. It's gonna be a drag race to the line. Trey Jacobs down to the inside, move him into third at the white flag. Can Ricky Peterson make a go up on the high side and make it work? Big wheel stand out of Cap, off at turn number four, win number 21, Tyler Courtney wins at Wayne County. Second, a drag race to the line, goes to Cap Henry, third to Ricky Peterson, and fourth to Trey Jacobs. 